Hello there, welcome on board the van. We are heading to the west coast, Kobo Bay. At the moment we are currently in St. Peterport. And uh, we've got a good little drive along today, so uh, welcome on board the van. Hope everyone's doing well. So sit back, enjoy the ride as usual. At the moment we are just held up in a bit of traffic, as you can see. Weather isn't great, I've got a feeling we're going to have rain the whole journey to the west coast but um, not really much of a problem we'll get there in the same way just with the windscreen wipers on and you'll see Guernsey in a wet condition rather than sunny so we currently got a bit of traffic here uh, this will clear soon hopefully so the route we're going to take I'm going to drive through St Peterport up to the main roundabout and we'll take the first exit off we head up St Julian's Avenue all the way up the hill down the other side down the row haze um, and towards the route to Kobo head on and eventually get at Kobo Bay so it should take around 20 minutes if you are interested in finding out a little bit more about Guernsey and what it's like to live on the island and see the different views and the, all the different things you can do you can have a look around my channel I've got hundreds of videos here all about Guernsey it'll give you a really good idea of places to visit and what it's like and remember you can always consider subscribing to my channel if you want to and if you do like this video you can simply let me know by giving it a thumbs up At the moment the rain seems to be not too heavy it's eased off a little bit my wipers are on but not all the time uh, they do give rain coming down a bit later so we'll see how we do but uh, it doesn't really matter too much we've got a bit of traffic here at the moment this will clear once we get out of sort of St Peterport we should have a bit more of a straight run so I hope everyone's well and uh, let me know if you're visiting Guernsey or you've maybe visited or you've got it in the schedule to come here always good to know so to give you an idea if you're not sure where we are we are on the east coast it's roughly the east coast at the moment and we're driving to the west coast so we're going across the island it's pretty much a straight run give or take as you can see on the map here straight across Okay, so we seem to got out this little bit of traffic. Traffic lights are green straight through. So as I mentioned earlier, we're going up to the main roundabout. We'll take the first exit off, which will take us up to St Julian's Avenue. So I'm gonna carry on driving and I'll get back to you in a little bit.
just approaching the roundabout so we're going first exit off on the left uh, if you take the second exit that will take you north north end of the island third exit takes you to the north beach car park there's a few options but we're heading on up the hill speed limit uh, 25 up here it's a really like thick drizzle horrible you get really wet in this before so if we stay on this road we don't turn off anywhere and it will just take us down to the other side of the island so we go up a bit of a hill here then we'll go down the other side maybe a little bit of traffic at the top here we'll see what it's like when we get there Ah, we had a nice little run of no traffic there so we got up the hill made up a bit of time and um, we've got traffic lights here there you go not too bad and also I just want to take the time to thank my channel members for supporting the channel I've got a nice little community of people that support the channel um, by becoming a channel member so um, if you are interested in give me a little bit of support to the channel the link is in the description to become a channel member we get a few little perks and bits and pieces but it's just mainly nice just to help with different things fuel my drive alongs and you know, looks and bits and pieces I really I really appreciate it. so thank you if you are a channel member uh, it does really mean a lot um, because you know it's nice to think that people are willing to support me you're donating a little bit each month very very nice right where are we doing so weather um, I reckon it's getting worse I don't know if you can tell but it seems to be getting thicker so we are heading sort of pretty much to the top of the hill we're going to start coming down the hill now so you can see it's pretty much a straight run you don't turn off anywhere once you've turned off at the roundabouts of Peterport the first exit just follow the road straight on really you can't go wrong so if you are going to do this route you could uh, just follow what I'm doing today a bit of traffic coming the other way a bit of, uh, everyone's got their lights on it's feeling a bit more wintry today uh, it's got that winter feeling although it's I must admit the temperature's not as cold it's nowhere near as cold as uh, a winter's day just looks a little bit that way <laughs>
have a bit of a build up here of traffic I mean just thinking there is other ways of getting to the west coast this isn't the only way I've probably chose a busier little route you could go around the coast you could go around the whole stay around the edge of the island just go <coughs> and get to the west coast that way there is a few other routes this this would probably be the quickest if there wasn't traffic it's just up and down the other side but some you know time like this where it's quite busy you may consider going another route possibly around the coast the coast doesn't tend to get as busy as this nowhere near the only problem with the coast is you get stopped behind cyclists but I haven't said that in this sort of weather not many people are cycling so you know that is an option so don't think this is the only way and obviously it does depend on what time I've gone at a busy time here but you know you might do this one day and there's no in the middle of the day there might be no cars so you know, it depends just um, have a look at your options there's quite a few if you're driving I sort of did this route just to show you a, a route it's not the only route but hopefully this won't be for too long but the weather is pretty miserable now so let's see let's see uh, if we can get there Okay, so we are at another set of traffic lights. I'm hoping once we're through this set of traffic lights, we shouldn't have any more hold ups. It should be a straight run down to the coast. Um, so we'll go down the route to Kobo route. And yeah, so I'm trying to think. Now there's no more. So after these traffic lights, we should be cruising down and we'll come out right by the Rock Mount pub. And I'll show you uh, a little bit of the coast as we drive past it.
I don't know about you, but I am pleased to get out of that traffic. Right, let's go. So, on our way. No more hold-ups, fingers crossed. this little bit is you turn right here then you turn left then it's straight down to the coast so just checking off and coming turn around to the right then go over to the left hand side of the road here then it's the left at the yellow line then it's straight on down to the coast Here we are, eventually arrived. Welcome to Kobo Bay, which is straight in front of us. I'm gonna turn right here, so we eventually got here. Sorry the views aren't great today, but you've seen the weather's not ideal. Let's drive along the coast here. So we have the Rock Mount on the right, which is the Rock Mount pub. Always good in the summer, there's people sat outside there. Well, I say in the summer, it is the summer. <laughs> it's on a, on a sunnier day. You've got the Kobo Bay Hotel right there and you've got the Kobo tea rooms on the right as well so uh, yeah we eventually got to the coast sorry about all the traffic if you've made it to this far into the video thanks for uh, watching it all and uh, remember click the screen to watch another video and if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey remember to subscribe until the next time take care I'll see you again soon